Our first guest tonight is a multi-Grammy award-winning musician whose song No Time to Die was recently nominated for an Academy Award. She is making history as the youngest artist to headline both the Glastonbury and Coachella Music Festivals this year and is currently on her Happier Than Ever World Tour. Please welcome to the show Billie Eilish, everybody. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm so happy to have you here. And New York has been so happy to have you here. You got to play Madison Square Garden. I sure did. I, you know, <laughs> I think all of us are in awe at how much you've accomplished in your very uh, young life so far. But I can imagine, does it still blow your mind when you're in, in a room like uh, MSG? Yes. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. no, it's, it's, I did ball on stage. Okay, gotcha. I did. Um, yeah, it was just really weird. I have a song during the set where it's all baby footage of me. And I was like walking across the stage, looking at baby me, looking at the crowd, and I bawled. Yeah. Quite embarrassing, but what you Yeah, what are you gonna do? I will <laughs> say, and again, I think the reaction from this audience bears that out. I think I don't think your audience minds when you get a little emotional. No, they love it. Yeah, I think they do too. <laughs> and I mean, but you guys, you know. And this strikes me as a relationship you had uh, with your live audience even before this pandemic that took it away from oh, us, yeah. right? You always had a very close relationship with your audience and one that was very honest and open and you always told them how much they meant to you. Yeah, it's, I mean, the, the fan uh, like connection has been the number one priority since like literally the beginning. I wouldn't want to do any of this without it. I'm d dead serious, there's no, reason to do any of this without the yeah, connection. It's like, really literally great. no reason at all. And then, um, <laughs> I, they write a lot of signs. Yeah. There's a lot of preparation that goes into going to see yep. you live. And I think that speaks to the connection. It's ridiculous. But <laughs> and this makes sense. I didn't realize this until I heard you say it. It must be hard to read a sign while you're singing a song. I can't do it. Okay. <laughs> I literally can't do it. I try to because I, I want to read their sign. They work so hard on them. They like color yeah. them in and draw. You got me that. I, I, yeah. I, I, like I'll, I'll be like, oh, cool sign and I'll read it and then I forget the words and it's yeah. really And you, want, you wouldn't want to accidentally sing the words on the sign. So. No, no. Um, this one, like, uh, you know, that is somebody who uh, wants to so sign my body and I will tattoo it on me. Yeah. So they would, they, you, they want you to sign it, and then That's they would crazy take. Pressure, yeah, that was very man, good. right in the middle yeah. of the show, please. Um, this one though, these are really, <laughs> um, these are a little bit harder to read, but I've read them earlier. So this one, um, uh, will you, will you pierce my nipples? <laughs> Can then, you imagine if I was like, yeah, let's do it right now? Yeah, let's do it right now. We have a thing, and then this one is even. This is a burp into the mic. <laughs> the mic. <laughs> And by the way, these, I don't think, these are, I think they just printed these the out. Crazy, they didn't even work no, that hard on true. those. No, But the crazy thing is they hold those up literally for the entire hour and a half. Yeah. They never put them, I'm not like, burp into the mic. Like, okay. Yeah. That's like, that's, a, that's like the statement you want to be. <laughs> also, it's a very I love hard it. thing. You, I love it. You, you want to tell them, like, if I do that, <laughs> no one here will understand it's because it was on your weird little sign. <laughs> Um, and then sometimes they collectively, uh, they, like a large group of them make signs. Yeah. And um, is, that's really nice. This makes me cry. I mean, look at these faces. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're it makes very, me cry. They do that. They, they, I think that what they do is somebody organizes it and they tell everybody else and then they're all like, okay, here's all these signs. And I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that they make like a bunch at once and then they hand them out and they're like, for this song, let's hold them up. That's what I thought. <laughs> It's so cute. I have cried for that too. You it's got, uh, and this so festival, I mean, doing festivals again must be so exciting and headlining yeah. these big, I mean, oh uh, how excited are you about getting back and doing that? Oh my God, so good. I did a few in um, September and those were like the first yeah. back since COVID. Oh, it was, feels so good. It so was good. really, that, especially that time, you know, I think, you know, obviously another wave came and, and made it a little bit less enthusiastic being out in public. Yeah. But that uh, late summer, early fall was an exceptional time to be doing live performance. Yeah. Again. Oh my God, we were free. It was great. <laughs> it was such a good, it was like a month of like, oh, COVID's gone. Yeah. And then you, nope. uh, and then you went, uh, you did SNL. You yeah, hosted I did. SNL. I did. Yeah. Yeah. And like, Woo! And like just got it under the wire before Literally COVID the came week back. Before, yeah. yeah, the week before. They were like, uh, the, I think the host the week after you left was Omicron. Uh huh. Yeah, it was. 
It was. It was. Uh, yeah, I have a bunch of questions about SNL. Uh, stick around. We will be right back with more from Billy Eilish.